vision upon it. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to preview and predict Sunday afternoon's NFC East clash as you had the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Washington Commanders. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, reach out to me, DM me, do whatever you got to do. I have all that information down in the description box. Um, so come out let your bar, yo. Um, first off, looking at the opponent, the Washington Commanders, I mean, man, they coming off of a, a brutal beat down by the Buffalo Bills last week. 37-3 with Sam Howell got sacked nine times. Uh, he threw four picks. I think they turned it over at five times altogether. Um, just a really, really dreadful performance. Um, at times, though, they moved the ball on Buffalo. The thing is, like, you know, they, they got turned over on downs a couple of times and threw some, some and had some turnovers. So um, as bad as they got beat last week and, you know, we could look at Sam Howell. Is he the franchise guy? Is he not? I personally don't think that he is. I think he's somebody that's going to hold on the spot until they end up getting another quarterback who they're more comfortable with. But um, he what they got to work with right now. He has good moments. You know, he played well against Denver um, and stuff like and did okay, you know, against Jacksonville. But um, brutal performance last week. Uh, the offensive line really needs work. But besides the quarterback and, and the offensive line, I think they got some nice skill position players. I think Brian Robinson and, and Antonio Gibson are a nice one-two punch um, at the backfield. I think Terry McLaurin, who is somebody who honestly always gives the Eagles trouble, um, you know, he's a, a, a bona fide, solid wide receiver. Um, you know, to go along with Curtis Samuel and um, those guys, um, you know, good tight ends. Uh, defensively, they got a really, really good deep defensive line. Uh, they got a little bit of questions in the secondary, but um, they got some areas on their team that's really, really solid, you know. Um, and then looking at the Eagles uh, last week coming off of a, you know, a 14-point a, a win against Tampa, which honestly felt like it was more than that. The score don't indicate, indicate the dominance the Eagles had. Uh, but, you know, Eagles had, we had some turnovers and we had some – balling down in the red zone. But uh, Jalen Hurts played better, still ain't got back to that level he was at last year, but uh, he played well. Um, DeAndre Swift and the offensive line have been the story. The running game um, has been dominant the last two weeks. Uh, in the receiving core, A.J. Brown finally had a really nice game. Devontae was quiet after having a great game against Minnesota. And Dallas Goddard ain't quite got off yet. <clears throat> um, and defensively, man, the D-line has really been getting after it, especially, you know, the Jalen Carters, Jordan Davises, Fletcher Cox, and all of them. Um, linebacker core, though, thin has been playing well, especially with Morrow. Um, and in the secondary, you know, with, with Darius Slade, Bradbury, and those guys, Reed Blankenship gets the pick last week. Uh, the defense has played well, you know. Um, and then, you know, um, Looking at this matchup, first off, man, Washington beat us last year in Philly. <laughs> you know, Eagles, we were undefeated. It was a Monday night matchup with, with Tyler Heineke. The commanders came over to Philly and, and gave us our first loss of the season, man. Um, so we definitely cannot be taking this team lightly uh, at home, you know. Um, for me, the key to the Eagles offense going up against the commanders defense uh, protecting Jalen Hurts, man. Uh, we got to protect Hurts. Like I said, Washington has a really good defensive front. Uh, if we could protect Hurts, I like our skill position players um, going up against their secondary. I think we, I think this could be the week that we could have a really nice passing attack. Um, you know, if we could give Hurts some time to throw the ball. Uh, and the other side of the ball, the key to the Eagles' defense um, against the commander's offense is stopping the run. You got to get this team to third and long. Um, if they're running the ball effectively with Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson, not only does it allow them to have play action passing, but it keeps our offense on the side and it allows them to build confidence. But if we could come out there and stop the run, like we've been doing so far this year and force them into third and long and have to drop back the pass, 
though they do got some good skill position receivers and, and tight ends and all that, I like our D-line to get after Sam Howell and they'll either get him to the ground or force him to make a, uh, you know, to throw the ball to us. Uh, which means I'm going to get to my prediction, man. Um, like I said, can't take this team. Oh, everything on paper said the Eagles should win big. <laughs> like, everything you look at on paper, she said Eagles should completely dominate this game. Um, and honestly, with the fact, besides the fact that the Commanders beat us in Philly last year, last time we played, I feel the same way. Eagles should win this game big, man. Eagles are just a better team, better on both, line, uh, better on both lines of scrimmage and better overall, you know, in pretty much every aspect of, of football, the Eagles are better pretty much, you know. Um, so I think the Eagles win this one comfortably. Um, I'm going to go 31. I got the Eagles 31 to 14. I think the Eagles will win this game. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles fly.